Salam everyone, welcome to my channel, Daring Din Vlog. We are in Masjidul Haram, it's uh, 15th of October, and it's almost 6 o'clock now, around uh, 5.56 or 57, I think. Um, the Maghrib Adhan will start soon, inshallah. Let's listen to the beautiful Adhan. After finishing our Maghrib and Isha Salat in Masjid Al-Haram, we returned back to our hotel, which is Swiss at all, Makkah. And then we went back to Abraj a Shopping Mall uh, using the same route from the Swiss at all, Makkah, which is a shortcut. And um, the time is around 10.45 in the evening. And... Uh, my wife and children are here with me, so the, my children are pretty excited. Um, we're probably going to do some shopping and have some food at the food court. I found it at this part of the mall is called Abraj Avenue. It's a huge um, store area where you, you can find all sorts of clothes and uh, baggage and um, toys, gifts, you name it. We are heading towards the toys area. There's a toy shop there. And they sell all sorts of toys. And I'm about to buy some toys for my children. 
especially my younger one and um let's listen to what the shopkeeper has to say i i was asking him something in english and he, he wouldn't understand are you of this too yeah where do you pay for this where do i pay for this Bryce? no where do i pay for this yeah. and where do i pay where do i pay yes. give money oh, give Come. to pay to pay pay uh, one minute huh? how do i pay kaise <laughs> ansa Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand, brother. It was kind of surprising to me. The guy was using, I think, Google Translate or some kind of um, app to understand English. He d didn't understand what I was saying. At least you have to have basic no knowledge on the English language, because if you're working or managing a huge store or the shopping mall you should understand english i mean you would have foreign customers anyway we are going to have some cappuccino here before everyone starts to lecture about boycotting this shop and that shop you have to understand that these companies are actually in the Haram area, Masjid al-Haram area, very close. Two of these, and the, it's in Madinah as well. No one's boycotting it. The, all the customers here are Muslims. All, all the people here working are Muslims. So who are you going to boycott? And like I explained in my previous videos, Islam does not allow to, to use trade as weapon. This is what the non-Muslims do. Sanctions after sanctions. They, if, they, they, if they don't like a country, if they don't like um, a region, they put sanctions. But this is not what Islam does. Islam's, Islam believes in a fair and free market. Unless they are involved somehow directly with buying of weapons which kill innocent people. You cannot use trade as weapon. We are now heading to Abraj Hyper Market, which is um, on the top floor. It's a huge supermarket and you can buy almost anything and everything here when it comes to groceries and food and stuff like that. As you can see, it's a huge uh, supermarket, and you can buy. You can even buy sandwiches here. I was actually looking for chocolates and ice cream. To be honest, I felt like having an ice cream right now. We are now looking for some ice cream. I know it's here somewhere, um, or maybe not. Oh, there it is. Oh, well. Some tasty, delicious looking ice cream. We've got cones as well. Mars, Twix, Bounty, Snickers, Galaxy. <laughs> They also um, sell fruits, some apples and bananas, grapes, oranges, they sell almost everything. One thing I like about these supermarkets is um, 
they're really uh, clean and very organized and you would know what you want and where they are uh, the staff available as well um, doing their work and walking about um, helping customers and they sell electronic stuff as well I'm not quite sure about the opening hours but um, I think they are open 24 hours if I'm not mistaken because most of the um, food places at the food court which is uh, I think one or two f floors below they're open 24 hours anyways Alhamdulillah, we are done with our shopping at Abraj Hypermarket. I'm not sure why it's called Hypermarket instead of Supermarket. Sounds a bit weird. Anyways, we are in the lift and going down to the ground floor. It looks really nice and clean. Everything is so beautiful here. The items that we bought in this uh, shopping mall I th um, in my opinion, they they are reasonably priced and not too high. I mean, if you know what you you're gonna buy and you know the prices, um, you can easily tell that you are not getting ripped off. We are heading back to our hotel now, which is Swiss Hotel Makka. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and please hit the notification bell for future content inshallah and I will see you all in the next video inshallah. Please remember me and my family and the ummah in your dua. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.